I think the reason why I believe my dish is better is because I'm using something that's not used a lot in this country, um, Rodia. And I think by using the different cuts and trying to pay, pay homage to the estate, everything sourced from the estate, apart from the broccoli, um, I just, for me, I just think it's a winning dish. To accompany his venison loin, Ken is making tatty pots with braised venison shoulder. But Lisa's suspicious of its similarity to the dish that won the main course last year, the hot pot cooked by her boss, Nigel Howarth. Where did you get the hot pot idea from? Didn't your boss uh, win with that dish? Oh. Taste of Nigel's last year, yeah. yeah. The taste of Nigel's. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked for the big fella. You know, yeah, you get exactly. the, get the beef exactly. salad. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, worked for you, mate. Yeah. Kenny's really got his hands full, as he also needs to seal his venison loin before roasting it, pan-fry his venison sausages, crisp up his sage, poach his onions, make a broccoli and wild garlic puree, and make a complex venison sauce. Trying to juggle so many aspects at once is sending him into a spin. You all right, Chef? Are you a little bit stressed? Yeah, full on. Obviously, times have changed a bit today, you know, so, but as you can see, I'm a bit up against it. I've got to really sort of push on, really, big time. Kenny might be flustered, but he's got to concentrate as it's time to plate up. He starts by spreading his broccoli and wild garlic puree, then he lays the venison loin on top, followed by sausage, venison jus and crispy sage leaves. The tatty pot is served in a pan on the side. Happy? Happy? <laughs> It's harder than I thought, actually. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, I feel relieved that I've got that out now. So what will the judges make of the first dish of the day? Will Kenny's subtle changes manage to blow them away or simply blow his chances? So it looks very pretty. I don't think it looks very summery, though. I think the deer is lovely. The deer has much more flavour. The little hot pot's terrific. I don't feel it's appropriate for the banquet. Why? Because I don't think it's very summery. But it is roe deer at the end of the day, and how, you know, how summery are you going to get roe deer to become? I think you could go more summery than broccoli. I mean, you know, it's not the most summery of vegetables, and, and somehow, because the hot pot is so wintry, I think you need a bit more of a blaze of colour or something leafy in there. Or... I personally think that the shoulder uh, is just, I mean, it's far too rich. We're going to have to be wheeling people out in stretchers after this if, as a main course. Yeah. As the chef on the panel, I think it's a solid bit of cooking. I think, you know, the, the venison's cooked nicely. I think the hot pot's fantastic. Do we serve a hot pot at a banquet in the middle of summer? Probably not, to be honest with you. That's probably the one. So we did the Lancashire hot pot last year. I know, yep, yeah, true. So, you know, th there is fights and causes, but it, as a hot pot, it tastes fantastic. I really like the dish. It would be not out of place at the final menu. A bit more finesse, a bit more originality, maybe. So, mixed comments from the judges. But what do Kenny's fellow chefs make of it? A lot of perception is that people think venison's a winter meat. Mm. Do you think it is? I think it's a wintry meat. I just think he's running a little bit of a risk, because that, to me, is wintry. Yep. Oh dear, oh dear. I think this was a stocking filler for Kenny, really. I think the deer just looked too uh, autumnal and definitely not one of his better dishes. Six. I didn't have too much of a problem with Kenny's dish. I quite liked it. It was uh, a, a, it was like a safe dish. And because he never took went out on a limb, I'm not going to go too high. So for me, he gets a seven. It wasn't a brilliantly original dish. It wasn't fireworks or anything. But I really liked it, and I'm giving it a seven. I can't help feeling that, in fact, he was just cooking on autopilot. So for that, I'm afraid it's going to be a six from me.